Hello summoners and welcome back to another video. My name is Saskio and I'm happy to be your host for patch 11.21. In this video, I'll let you know what changes you can expect to see next patch. Also, make sure to subscribe because we will also be uploading another video very soon, providing a detailed summary of the exact changes. With that covered, let's start the video. Kicking things off, let's talk about system nerfs. A couple of items and runes have been notoriously overtuned for many patches at this point. The following systems will receive nerfs next patch, Guardian, Conquer, and Gore Drinker. Guardian is the one we didn't expect. I'm sure the nerfs to this keystone will be rather light. There are cases where champions like Lulu are running it. While she's a rare case, this might still mean the rune is a little too strong and provides too much safety net for allies. I'm sure what most of us can agree on are the nerfs to Conquer and Gore Drinker. Top lane fighters are good, probably a little too good. A bunch of champions run Conquer for the immense boost in AD or AP they receive from it. And if you look at the builds of the strongest champions in the top lane and jungle, you'll see no shortage of the keystone. Even mid laners like Talon use it, and that should not be okay. I think it's fine if Conquer is used adaptively for certain matchups. But when it's the most optimal on AD assassins, things have gone too far. Alongside Conquer, Gore Drinker is finally receiving some changes next patch, and according to what's on the PBE, its sustain isn't the target. Instead, the damage will be reduced significantly with the removal of the spite passive. In case you don't know what that is, it's the passive that provides bonus AD based on missing health. It's about time they've nerfed this item, even if it's right when the season is about to end. Speaking of which, I heavily suggest you all check out our website, proguides.com if you haven't. With season 11 almost over, there's no better time to contact a coach on our website. Last month, our coaches helped hundreds of students make the climb from silver to gold, and our challenger team can certainly help you, even if you're a higher rank. Moving forward, let's talk about system buffs. There are two small system buffs coming up. The first is for Ingenious Hunter, which is currently under news when compared to all three of its competitors. Ravenous Hunter, for example, is always a good choice, and Ingenious Hunter has fallen, even for players that build few items with actives built into them. Second, the health rune is also receiving a buff. I think there's only one direction they can take this buff. It's going to provide more health. Pretty cool buff, especially when you're not certain who your lane opponent will be, or if you're trying to scale. Finally, Stridebreaker will receive system adjustments next patch. Based on the PvE, the item scaling will be cut down quite a bit. However, its power earlier in the game will rise as a result of increased base AD, and also because the active damage will now scale off a high percent of base AD, rather than its current values of total AD. With systems covered, we can talk about champion changes next. We'll talk about nerfs first. Up for the nerf hammer are Quinn, Graves, Akshan, Karthus Bottom, and Misfortune. Graves, Akshan, and Misfortune should come as no surprise. They're so strong right now. Misfortune is the most popular marksman by far, and oddly enough, four of the five champions receiving a nerf also fall into that archetype. Graves has also reclaimed his crown as king of the jungle. But Riot is quickly taking action to ensure he doesn't single-handedly define the jungle meta. Akshan is killing it as both top and mid laner with his high mobility damage and of course his scoundrel passive. After giving him some time, Riot is finally going ahead and taking some power away. Quinn and Karthus are two underplayed picks with extremely high win rates. While both of them don't see much play, they're both sitting above a 53% win rate which is probably what brought them to the balance team's attention. Last but not least are the champion buffs. Viego, Teemo, Lux, Zaya, Jinx, and Sion will receive a buff next patch. Viego was nerfed pretty hard and while he's retained popularity, his win rate has been lackluster ever since. Giving him some power back should make him a more viable pick and my guess is that Riot will further encourage crit builds to make him high risk, high reward pick. As for the other picks, they're simply underperforming. Teemo and Sion last saw buffs, but both of them didn't make any big gains because of them. With Conquer receiving a nerf, the top lane meta will likely see a gradual change that allows both of these picks to do much better, with or without the upcoming buffs next patch. Lux, while very popular, is underperforming heavily in high elo. A buff is definitely called for with her 48% win rate in platinum and higher. Finally, there's Zaya and Jinx, who are struggling with the aggressive marksman meta at the moment. Picks like Misfortune, Lucian, and Jin lead the charge with their early game powers that allow them to quickly pick up decisive leads. I'm expecting Zaya to pop off soon because she's been receiving nothing but buffs for the last several patches. Thank you so much for watching, that wraps up the patch preview. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below, whether there are any changes you're excited for, any that you wish Riot would add, or ones that you even disagree with. Until next time, best of luck on Summoner's Rift, and I'll see you in our next video.